Hello from Chination.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I would like to do a little review of the Tipman X7 Phenom uh, converted to MacVet using the RAV4 MacVet conversion kit. And um, so I'm not going to do the conversion right here, but I'm just going to review and talk about my thoughts of the whole project and also to uh, show you around and tell you the, some tips and such so that you know is it worth doing it yourself and such okay before i start um i always tune my paintball markers for high power shooting so they're for target shooting less lethal defense use but not paintball okay so i'm going to talk about high power here which is way higher power than your paintball power okay so right here the best setup so far i find for this gun on high power is running from co2 you can actually run xpa um, I used to do that before. Okay, you can run HPA tank, which is fine for the wallet <laughs> for indoor shooting. HPA is fine because you're just shooting targets, right? So you don't need a super high power. So it save your money, save your wallet. Okay, but I like to use CO2 for high power. The difference is um, somehow with this gun, okay, CO2 will give you um with with this this is the uh stock barrel okay the stock barrel not the a5 barrel but the longer one okay the longer barrel it will give about um 23 to sorry 24 to 25 joules with co2 okay about that 24 24 joules ish okay so with with hpa it will shoot around 20 ish joules okay when you tune it right so um big difference <laughs> if you change the barrel to a 16 inch barrel with a tighter bore that fit that kind of am, uh, ammo you use it will give you a little bit more power and my maximum reading is about 28 joules but um yeah it, it won't happen all the time so don't worry it's just like a fluke whoa <laughs> okay so anyway one thing you'll realize here is where's the trigger guard um yeah so frigid trigger guard the trigger guard <laughs> right here is not going to fit because of because of this part. Okay, this part is going to jam here and it's not going to fit. I need to either cut right here, cut it off myself, or I need to buy a part that will fit right here. But anyway, so so far there's no trigger guard and I find it okay. It won't bother me that much, but yeah, it should be fixed soon. Anyway, so everything works fine. This is the crap, oh sorry, RAV4 magazine. So you cannot press it with this finger and eject the mag because it's way too far. You need to use this hand on the other side to take it out, okay? And it's not the best magazine. Okay, so right now this is a tube that holds two CO2 right here and I secured this tube. You can see it's not gonna move. This stock is not wobbly. This tube inside holds two CO2 back to back, and this is the cap. I leave it out like that so you can screw it out like so, and then put two CO2 inside and then pierce it like this, and it will punch CO2 inside and uh, get it to your gun. What I did was I secured the tube with duct tape inside, wrapping the tube with duct tape and then hammer in this stock, which is the original Tipman stock, as you can see. So um, yeah, I hammered it in and the whole thing is so virgin uh, secure right now, it's not gonna move. So basically it's a really functional stock and this is actually the tube like this, okay? You can buy the tube separately or you can, like if you have one of those RAV4 guns or if you have a um, CAAM 870 shotgun, something like that, they come with these tube for the charger as well. So these, uh, are pretty common parts. They steal two in. Now this kit, the Raffer kit comes with not this one, okay, but this whole receiver and also the Magwell piece right here. Okay, there's two piece. Um, and then the problem is your front stroke, this part, will not fit. Okay, you need to cut a little bit of that off yourself. So um, I was too lazy to pull on my Dremel and, and this cutter. So what I did was I used a knife to kind of saw a groove 
into the rail and then I took a wrench and go bang and then snap it off so <laughs> it worked but it took me a little bit of effort but now it works okay it took you it took me a while to get this thing fixed up but anyway so this thing the original thing will not fit you need to be prepared to cut this part Okay. And the other shroud, not to mention um, like the G36 shroud and other shroud like that, they will not fit as well. You still need to cut them, so it's really annoying. I don't know why they don't come with a front shroud in this kit. Why, right? They should make the complete package so you can assemble this and then have a front shroud and we will, it will kind of like put a signature to your gun that makes it look like a modified RAV4 or whatever, Mac Fred X7. But I don't know why they didn't do it, so it's kind of weird. I really hate that part, okay? Fiddling around this thing took me the longest time, and it's really annoying. Okay. Now, the other side, um, as you can see, this, okay, this is way too freaking far. You cannot press it. Um, RAV4, I think they should make a extended meg release to make it way over here, so you can press it with this finger at least, and not have to go all the way here with your other hand to push it out okay so it doesn't make sense this thing it's kind of ugly um and also it distant your mag and this part too far away so it took the realism off i think that they should really do something about it um i don't know but yeah something should be done to it okay so now what's the good stuff about it is that the raf4 magazine um, it's pretty sweet in a way, but they do look kind of crappy in a way. Um, the plastic is some cheap shit ABS plastic kind of thing. It's not really so serious looking. When you hold it in the hand, it feels like kind of toy grade plastic. Even the Tipman X7 Phenom plastic on the body and the stock feels feels more serious than this part so i don't know why they actually give you kind of that kind of crappy magazine but anyway who cares um yeah oh one news here is i thought the um uh i thought the honor core teacher r2 mags will fit but they don't so <laughs> i try to put that magazine in and it cannot fit in so yeah teacher r2 mags don't work the only option is the ball shape um RAV4 magazine, okay? You can buy this kit with a D-Mag, but I hate D-Mags. They look really ugly. So anyway, um, what else? Let me talk about the magazine. Okay, let's take the gun apart. I mean, away, not apart. This magazine is kind of sweet. Uh, compared to the, say, the um, Tiberius T15 mags, this mag is kind of sweet in a way. Okay, we've got a T15 magazine here. Um, well, and we also have a Spider MR5 or MRX magazine. Okay, now let's talk about it. The Spider magazine, it's very simple. One way to load only, push the balls in. Okay, but it only holds like nine or ten rounds, so nine rounds. So very low capacity. High capacity magazines are annoying. They have a wheel which you need to wind up the spring and they will wind up the spring and you can put about 20 rounds in here. Okay? Good. Good um, ammo capacity. But, okay, the material and size and look. RAV4 magazine looks like a piece of shit because this is not curved. You see? Straight, rigid, ugly looking. It's not curved. It's not like the T15, which is a very nice, smooth, sexy curve. Okay, there's no curve to it. This thing is ugly. And also, you have a big head here sticking out, which is hard to store these things facing down into your vest. See, you put it inside your vest, this thing is going to stick out. So it's not really practical in a way. You need to put them face up maybe, okay? But the good thing about this RAV4 magazine is it comes with a little tool right here. Okay, on the side right here. Yeah, now you get to use your finger and try to get this little tool out. Okay. Just clip my nail so it's kind of hard, but... Ah! Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, you, you can get it out by using your finger. If 
Look at that go. If you don't clip your nail. Anyway, so there's a little tool here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay. Like this. This tool is for putting into this spot here and then you can screw it. See? Nice little tool. You you can't even use it on here, I think. Can't you? Oh damn. Yeah, it kind of works on the T15 mags too. But anyway, you get the idea, right? And then you snap it back. There's a mag leg in here that holds it in place. So there's a little tool to wind up the magazine on the field. So you don't need to, you know, have your gloves on and it's so hard to... And, and also you don't need to use a little Allen key, whatever, to wind it up. So I think the RAV4 magazine is more sensible in a way with that kind of thing. The low balls inside, you need to kind of push this down in order to uh, release the spring here and then keep pushing balls in. This one, you just wind it up and keep plugging. So the T15 Max is better looking, more durable plastic for sure, and it looks more serious. The Raffle Magazine looks like crap, but the only good thing about it, I think, is the uh, little tool right here. And also it holds 20 rounds instead of 19. Okay, so another complaint here is, when you put it in, and you hear that? What the fuck is this? Look at that. It's so wobbly, okay? And because of this wobble, um, I was shooting some rubber balls uh, for testing. And while I shoot like three mags, there are about two to three um, balls not firing out of this thing during my test. And I was like, what the heck happened? And then I have to push my hand right here to push the mag up a little bit, giving it a little bit of pressure. And now the balls will feed. So the problem is should be the spring not strong enough or the ball is not pushing up or this thing is not really in place all the time and somehow it doesn't feed up all the time. Some fix may be required. Uh, I'll find out what happened and fix it up. But that is kind of annoying. Anyway, so beside that, everything else works better than the Cyclone. And I'm sure that um, if you are a Milsim lover, you will like this kind of setup more than with the Cyclone feed because right here, if you have a huge Cyclone right here, it makes you really like go crazy because it, it's so space consuming. Especially when you try to pack it up inside a gun case, the cyclone is taking up so much space that you cannot close the gun case. Now, this is much flatter and you can now pack it up nicely and neatly. So, I really like this idea of changing this thing to a mag fed. My next project will be to um, fix up the frigid uh, guard and also find out the problem with the mag fed. And uh, I think that will be pretty good enough for now <laughs> okay so basically i'll update you guys of what happened later and uh stay tuned for my future review thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye, -bye.